Welcome guys to Drunkast episode 7. We've been a bit lazy and it's been a while. This, but this is the start. We've been busy. We've been busy. We've been busy. Very busy. We've got a new set, as you can see. We, we finally made it on YouTube. Josh has finally moved out. <laughs> yeah. He's actually the first to move out. He got yeah. kicked out. His parents were like, fuck you. Nah, yeah. but it had to be done. It had to be done. He's had enough. <laughs> I wanted to get kicked <laughs> out. The day he just kind of said, by the way, I'm looking for houses. Actually, that was on the episode that came out recently. Yeah, it was. If you want to date this a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's out now. He's here. He's in a, a two-bedroom apartment. Yesterday was England being shit in the World Cup. Yeah. Kieran is so happy with that. All right, we're starting there. Okay. I loved the um, way Kieran was like, they played well, though. I was like, they played well. Right, I, 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 want, I want to take a moment to say... Do we, a minute of silence, though. They were shit. We, 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 we actually played really well. And I was actually yeah, we quite, did, though. quite we, yeah. proud of how we played. They we did right. really well. We played well, just not well enough. Yeah, we're <laughs> out. We're out, so we're out. Okay. <laughs> I'm, again, I'm just... I, I want to say that we did really well, and... We, well done, boys. Um, well done, well done. Well done. Um, well, well done, men. Moving yeah. along. Not that you guys Do you know care. What? I'm, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, and he goes, Thank God we're out, because it means it's over. I was like, No, no, tonight there's going to be riots. Tomorrow it's going to be over. Yeah, there was. I don't know. Was there actually? I didn't actually know. Well, the thing is, I think everyone's just upset. The thing is, we. I don't think they should do a match for third and fourth. They should probably just get bronze medal and be sent home. You know, they don't. No, I, 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 do, I do that. agree with you because uh, no one wants to. You kind of. You don't. Nobody don't wants to watch, watch that game. When you out, you don't want to. You just leave it. No, you, you lost all fucking. Yeah, yeah just, mean, just, yeah. just, just. There's no well, point. Whoever had more goals or something like that, say it like that. You know. That would be us then, because we we don't like. Cause there's one dude who got a six. In, uh, was it when we had the six? Six one, wasn't it? Uh, uh, Panama. Panama's. Yeah. Panama. He, he was like the most scored player of the entire game, like the entire lot. So Does that far. annoy you that he's a Tottenham player, Kieran? No, no, because he's English and I support my own. And he was, he was Honestly, very so good if, if he was, say, Italian, you wouldn't like him as much? I don't have a problem with Tottenham players. I have a problem with Tottenham fans. We have a friend who's a Tottenham player. My... Is he a sarcastic rapper? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, and that's the, the problem. I just, I just Tottenham fans have just yeah I'm not going to go into it yeah, just yeah, have a slight problem with them oh. basically saying the knobs so in fairness actually Kieran is saying I, 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 football fans in general like knobs yeah it's not found out which is quite bad actually but apparently the um, the domestic abuse rises by 30% whenever England play a <laughs> match really yeah that's no, fucking terrible. It's actually that's, true. Yeah, it's actually true. Well, where'd you get... I want you to... Yeah, give me your references. Because if it was you, uni lad, I'm not taking it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that still a thing, uni lad? I thought they, yeah. like, stopped. Yeah, no, no they still do no, need to stop. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so what's your, what's your source? England. My no, source I was in the news, there. if I remember. I'll have, to, I'll have to try and find it for you, and we'll put it as a reference. You know what that says, Kieran? You need to not watch football when you... Yeah, because you've got to punt your wife. I'm not going to punt... Which way? Pump, pump, pump. A pump, not pump. <laughs> <laughs> they both sound bad. One sounds a little bit more sexual, though. Do you ever have a petrol pump when you were young, uh, younger? What's that? So it's like when someone would bully you and you'd sit on you and then they'd start, they'd put their knees on your shoulder and start pumping you. Oh, yeah, that really hurt. That could that could actually fuck your tendons and muscles and stuff that they don't. Oh, you do that to people? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. You? I I never saw that that no, I did it to my sister once. As I said, you are just some sort of cunt. I've never heard that before. Petrol pump. It's where I, so I can show you if you like. You, um, no, have you never had that happen? No, I don't. It happened to me. That's so you put, you put your knee or something on there and then you just literally go up and down. Yeah, you just pump yeah. it like, and it's just called petrol pump. Because it basically stops the flow of blood in your arm and then it can actually break your tendons but it hurts and, your bones and, bones and stuff. Bitch. Yeah. That's because it's breaking your tendons. Yeah. Yeah. It's in there at WWE wrestling. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. used to be. That's what people do. Yeah. So. But saying that, I'd never see someone try to fucking, uh, what was uh, Undertaker's one where you'd get them upside down, just like drop them. Oh, like Tombstone the pile driver. The pile driver, yeah. yeah. Never seen anyone try, decide to do that. Well, no, because some reason, petrol was like, yeah, it's Have you never Batista bombed someone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, every time I walked in the classroom, I was like, get it. When, when, when I was younger, the table. when I was younger, a friend of mine used to be like a big fan of, uh, you know, WWE. Every like group of friends had one that was like watching it with their dad yeah and he was like he was like I just want to try some moves he's like well 
We can fake child on your trampoline. One, because I just like to trampoline. It was cool. Maybe what I went round is. Uh, wrestling <laughs> with your mates from trampoline was hilarious. Yes. Yeah. We used to have, have like... throw someone into the sides and have the nets and you'd be like, boom. We used to have uh, like four or five of us fake wrestling in that one time and there was this one kid who loved Power Rangers and we were like, let's do it, beat the fucking Power Rangers up. And he would just go like proper in character like, okay, this is getting a bit weird now. Okay. There was so, we have a trampoline and we have like, there's a netting around it, there's a wall, it's up against the wall and the wall's the same high as, yeah. high as the netting. I used to climb on the wall, get on the wall and end up splat, like, you know, oh. all the wrestlers where you splash someone. Fuck that. Uh, I'm it's fun though, it. everyone's done it. Um, but, for me, as a kid, wrestling got out of fashion when I don't when know when, 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 you, when you find out it's fake. You kind of like, oh, it's, it's all acting, isn't it? That's yeah, the but it's still popular, even though everyone knows it's fake. Yeah, but it's weird though because some... it's the same as just following a sport, though, isn't it? Really? No, sports not. Yeah, like, fake, you, know, you know that. Well, football, it, mate, like wrestling is already a uh, winner decided before it happens. Surely, so. Mm. Well, yeah, but I mean, when you start seeing like certain wrestlers have beef and stuff and a big fucking uh, like scripted shit definitely. you sort of think well it might be fake even before you find out you're sort of sort of you know you're, you're getting the ideas of it you're hoping it's not yeah it's a bit one lovely. thing that is weird though is like two famous wrestlers are now like really good actors like The Rock and Dave Bautista yeah they're like really good actors I think Triple H on a few things as well but he's not as yeah but they're good actors yeah saying that like, like, so much so they've been in like films that are quite serious have you ever like, seen wasn't John he's Cena? been in Some. like yeah Drax. he's in blockers he's, he's hilarious yeah. as Drax and then he was in the new Blade Runner film yeah and then The Rock is in bloody everything now. yeah The Rock is in everything Can he, he's Jumanji he plays and himself in everything yeah, best film The Rock's been in though is The Other Guys oh yeah but like, he's he wasn't in very he wasn't in for very long him and Samuel Jackson <laughs> he killed that but it was brilliant I love Samuel Jackson like yeah. I think because obviously you put the thing on the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from the if hitman's you, body. Watch, oh my if, god! If you watch our uh, latest <laughs> so video, good. well, no, latest as of now, but it's the so, uh, part two of our Doctor's remastered. Yeah, when he's going against <laughs> the Hydra. Oh, it's funny and, as hell. I don't watch it yet. No, yeah, but it's, you it's are good. not supporting the channel. No, <laughs> I'm just not loyal. It's 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 it worked well. I, yeah. It's more just ripping into nature being shit. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Once uh, you, you learn though, the mechanics of a Dark Souls game, it's so easy. Mm. Like my second playthrough, I just blitzed it, and then like near the end of the game, I got like the Demon Great Axe, and was like, "Well, I've broken." But surely, game. like you, Lord Gwyn, I killed him three hits. I think I that was the axe him, you were using as the hide. Put him with a hit, and then surely, no, I was using the like dragon's axe or whatever. Might be, yeah. Surely, the amount you played um, Dark Souls three that would help. Now, because you know what weapons are good or like the upgrade mechanics, like I completely forgot in the first one to upgrade your weapon to legendary gear, you sacrifice like a great sword to turn it into one of the boss's great swords mm. from the giant. Do you still use that axe that you got in the. Um, no, the it's rubbish now. One now. Is it rubbish yeah. now? Well, that's still good, but it doesn't scale with me because my guy's strength is like 80 by the end of the game. Like, I killed. <laughs> I can't remember his name. The. The giant dragon, I think it begins with a K from the like Artorius DLC. Killed yeah. him in five hits with it. Artorius, I killed in three hits. Poor guy. He didn't even, he wasn't ready for it. No, no, no. Him you, you haven't killed a dog yet, have you? Is it? Yeah, I've killed it. I Oh, it is. No, sorry, Sithis. The coolest is thing was when you fight like, the darkness at the end of the game, like the boss of the abyss. Yeah. Like, I can't remember something the Lord of the Abyss. Um, if you've done certain parts of the story and like got. Say it's saved Sif from the Abyss in the DLC. You can go in there and then summon Sif into the boss fight. That, that's cool. And it is so cool. Like, it was so cool to have. It just looked awesome. I, I do like the ideas of uh, when games sort of implement those sort of things. Yeah, if you don't do a certain thing, you yeah. can do this. Like in uh, Fable 2, where if you save this farm and you know you have to fuck off for about three years or so, yeah. you can then go back and it's developed and buy and get a fucking mu- legendary musket. Love that. As like an idea for games where things change depending on what you've actually done. Legendary weapons in Fable so cool. Like the Halo gun. That was the one problem with it. <laughs> it's not like, yeah, you get an energy sword as well. Yeah. But the one problem was like in the Fable games, the weapons were so cool because you could find an upgrade them, and the magic was cool, but it it wasn't as powerful. No. Like unless in Fable Three where you could like dual cast spells, that was really cool. Yeah, but I didn't like 
the whole you got to kill this many monsters and then you get this little bonus with your sword stuff and it changes the look I'd rather have you should like, be able to pick what the bonus is rather than yeah. having every single one do more damage to goblins mine was doing more damage to skeletons was like oh that's literally the, the, the very beginning of the game you just fight shit tons because you're trying yeah. to get to the fucking uh, tougher enemies and yeah stuff. I think I had one weapon that was buffed by the werewolf creatures Valverines yeah that was it and that, that weapon just became a beast yeah it was cool like, though, like with the gun, you'd like put it over your shoulder and shoot things behind you and stuff like that. Yeah, the gun. Cool. Yeah, because if you had yeah, guns or crossbows, like some of the things you could do is like if there was only behind you, you could put it over your shoulder and pull the trigger and yeah. then turn around and shoot them. What game is this again? Fable Three. Oh, I think I remember you showing me that was that game with the wood, the wood pistol game. Uh, that we were playing at Josh's. No. Weird pistol game. What was that? He was like, was it in my house? You sure? The last time we were at yours. We'll be play- you were playing it in... Oh, Bayonetta. Level- Bayonetta. Oh, right, yeah. That is so strange, that game. It's I really good, though. It is really good. Yeah, I'm, I've been yeah. playing the first one for ages now, and it's a long game. I if, can't wait to play the second one. Uh, I think it's I the first one. If you get a certain amount of halos, you can fight yeah. a, 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 um, an extra boss, oh. which is, you know, the, the big... Not being raised, the big bad guy. Oh, the devil. Yeah, dude. yeah. You yeah. can fight him, and he is as hard as fuck, because you can't heal yourself. And he's just murder. Ah. Yeah, it's good. It's all about using your like witch time, which is dodging correctly. Oh, you don't get that. You go all invisible and do mad stuff. It looks. I've got like an upgraded katana sword now, and then shotguns on my boots. I'll be because easy does it. (laughs) I've got like dragon claws as well, and then I've got some boots, and you can wear the the tiger or dragon claw things on your feet if you want. That's cool. But I've also got like some weapons that are pretty much ice skates. And you cut them with like the there's, there's, issues. there's not a game like it. From watching it, there's not. It is literally Devil May Cry crossed with Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's probably the best. I can describe it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I'm really enjoying Except it. Except from it's weird because I remember in two when I played it. Apart from yeah, there's a lot. You of can you can make yourself naked. Things. Yeah, yeah. That I did see that there was quite a lot of a. Uh, I mean, content. you become nude a lot because to summon your ultra combo moves, uh, it's your hair, but your hair is also your, your clothes. Yeah. Which is, it's very Japanese. <laughs> Not trying to sound like a dick. Is but it a Japanese it is... company that's made it though? Yeah, is it American? Yeah, yeah. No, Japanese. Japanese like. America would not allow that <laughs> no. to happen. I don't know. Japan like their Maybe. cleavage. They love a good bit of cleavage. Mm. Actually, I think most what other games that Japan have done that just. It's just all. Whole... Oh, saying that. Yeah. Oh, um... yeah. Well, who's the girl in that? That's got... There's Rachel. <laughs> Got a lot of titties. Yeah. <laughs> and like in one of the PlayStation versions, the thumbsticks made her boobs jiggle if you put them in. <laughs> I think the same thing, like, if I remember it was so uh, Super Mario Galaxy, the first one, you could shoot stars at Rosalina and her boobs would start jiggling. Oh, God. Mario, <laughs> you yeah. dirty dog, you. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, no. I guess like. Oh. No. Like, so re- yesterday I got uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And. Well, I'm, I'm assuming we'll be recording that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Going yeah, back yeah. to it though, I've got Peach's outfit, Link's outfit, and Samus's outfit in Bayonetta. Yeah, oh, I remember. Yeah, it's kind of cool, and it like changes how you and play because you get different weapons and stuff. Yeah, Daisy. Did you say Daisy? Yeah, it was, da- it was yeah. Daisy, Daisy Peach, Peach, Link, and uh, Samus. Samus. Who's who's um who's Daisy? Daisy. Daisy's other half. Who's Luigi's who's, wanted to be? Because you got you got <laughs> Mario and Princess Peach. Well, it's a bit weird because at one point it used to be Luigi and Princess Peach as well. Princess it, Peach is a little slut. Depending, <laughs> it's a little love triangle. Depending on her uh, Bowser, the... Mario, Luigi. Then wait, Toad, wait, Toad, wait, Toad, wait, Toad, Toad, Toad. Come on, she don't get captured that many times on purpose. She's going to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, depending on the. Um... You know what it is? It's because Mary is too busy watching the football. We'll be using her. She's like mad. Oh, oh, he doesn't Mary. live in England. Let's be yeah. honest. Oh. Um, but yeah, depending on the 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 game, depending on where you buy uh, Super Mario Galaxy, the first one, mm-hmm. the ending changes. Do, like if say because in France, there's a bit where uh, Rosalina says about her dad with a moustache and a beard and all this one. It's baby, she's saying it's Luigi, is... Luigi's her dad, oh, God. Uh, but Peach is still her mum. So it's like. <laughs> So it went, so it went, something happened since... Um... Uh, could it be Mario, though, surely, as well? Well, that's true, actually, yeah. Because I think I remember the end of it hints that Mario's her dad and time travels warp the, the speed. Yeah. Should they... So, like, games, she's in a different time zone? Games need to stay away from time travel. Movies need to... Everything, stay away from time travel. 
It's too predictable oh. and shit. You know what? If it's they, sort of a bit way out a lot of the time, isn't it? If they remastered Time Splitters, I'd be the happiest. Uh, yeah, Time Splitters is the one game where time travel is just hilarious. Yeah. Is it actually time travel with Time Splitters? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'm thinking Time Crisis. Time, time, time Splitters is the one we play as Cortez, isn't it? Or something the name is a bald guy. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was the third one where you like go to the Haunted Mansion. That bears. Is that the one with the moose, the head of the... Yeah. yeah. Moose, you know, moose. there's a picture and he just comes out and it's just yeah. like... Yeah. No, he's like, yeah. a, like a mountain deer head. Mountain isn't he? deer head, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. But it's, that's that. a very good game. Ga- it's a GameCube and... Um, the best thing was playing is the little monkeys. Because like, everybody would have to aim down to get you. But like... <laughs> Like, I can't to be honest I cannot remember playing it that I can't, so I can't remember playing I it, it but loads. I played it loads but I can't you know when you can't remember exactly yeah. like I wish I could go back and play it I wish I had a GameCube to well you can play it on the Xbox I've got it on the Xbox do you want an Xbox I really think we should play that on the channel I suppose Future Perfect yeah I would love to do that because that was, was one game that was going to get a kickstart for a bit and then it didn't I don't know why mm. what remastered version of that no just the new one Oh, well, there's a remastered well, Shemu 1 and Shemu 2 coming out, wasn't there? Shemu. You ever played that? You were like a Japanese sort of. It was one of the first like sort of open worldy RPG games like it. Alright. But unfortunately, whenever you went to New Era, there was a loading screen because it was on a Dreamcast. Took a long time. So, 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 it's a long dr- long, so it kind of defeats the, yeah. the point of open world. Right. And like to load up the game took like. But saying that, then doesn't, doesn't Destiny do the same though? Yeah, but Destiny's it's supposed to be world. seamless if you've got good internet connection. And is Destiny open world? No. MMO? No. It's a, it's a, it's a weak MMO. It's meant to be an FPS MMO. No. Just no. No. It's, no. it's just a shit. game with other people in there. Yeah. It's an MMO. It's an MMO. It's not. I'm looking forward to that new DLC though. I know, you've, you've become I'm, proper I'm Destiny. I'm doing all my weekly stuff. Of all of I've got some really cool stuff now. Well, I don't understand. Why do you keep going back to it? Oh, I think They're... it's like crack, you know? <laughs> no, I don't. I've never had crack. <laughs> Why crack. do drug addicts just keep going back? You know? I'm hooked. I don't know. There's always people on it. I think because you... I just liked it. I just like the. I like how the game plays. Yeah, but doesn't it like disappoint whenever the DLCs are literally shit and you've got to wait for them to sort Because the Taken sort it out. Is excellent. And this next one yeah, is going to be Yeah, but the Taken was... The la- was it one of the Plus, last the ones that came out? Plus, the whole pitch for this DLC is that they kill Cade. It's like, it's like if you have a... I need to avenge... Is he the, is he the hive mind then? Not the hive mind, the... Um, Rasputin. That no, he's dead. dead. Oh, Rasputin's dead? No, Cade is dead. dead. Ah. That's the new DLC, it's him getting shot in the head. Well, I think Destiny, for name That's like is. their pitch is, come on people, come back to us. We've killed your favourite character. There's nothing left of it. But why would you then? Because you you were saying, like, like, he's your favourite character. What's the point of coming back? I, want, so, I don't I want, want to see I this. I want revenge. As simple as that. They don't <laughs> kill Nathan Gillian. Okay. <laughs> no, they just okay. cancel all of his shows that he's ever been in and then Ooh. kill him. Ooh. It's a tough life. Nathan Gillian. <laughs> he life. has had a tough life. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Um, I think Destiny 2 for Nathan is kind of like a pet that doesn't behave very well. You know, you kind of you disown it for a bit and then you, you yeah it's you're like hoping a cat you're, you're just hoping like you a pet do you know what you feed yourself mate you're hoping <laughs> yeah it's, it's a cat that doesn't love you you just have to come in pay for its food and feed it <laughs> do you know what and change the so my mum my and dad there's away. no love there but I will put in the work because it's my pet <laughs> my mum and dad were away last week so I had to go back to theirs and uh, feed the dogs and stuff and I was like I didn't see the cat for the entire week and one day I just walk upstairs to see if she goes meow I'm like oh, okay Put there and then she just fucks off. It's like you selfish bitch. <laughs> yeah, my cats are weird though. Like my cats are way too interactive with people. I love it. Yeah. Apart from like... Princess, I don't. don't yeah, really she have... wasn't raised. She wasn't. I uh, <laughs> got her as like a rescue slash reader. Don't have that so bond with Princess. Yeah, she's not the bond. But Gizmo and Lilo are like odd. What's yeah. hilarious is your parents are gradually trying to groom her. So every time I go around, or we she's go got around, a different <laughs> <shaved up. laughs> Because she won't let you comb her, and so you just have to slowly shave her. Like each when you season can. when she gets a new coat, you shave her. Cause she just builds was up it Princess that dragged in that uh, uh, rabbit? No, it was Gizmo. Oh. It's so cute though, you just let it happen. Was that like the first, I think it must have been the first year I knew you, that? Nah. No. Maybe. Uh, no, it could be. It might have been. I do remember that, because I, just, I, I, <laughs> was, I, I weirdly found it funny. Yeah, you, you know, we, like, I just, I, I'm sure I finished college the year before, then obviously I got introduced to you through him. Yeah. Oh, uh, through Kieran. And then, um, 
We were around Nathan's, and I can't remember what we were doing. Was it like D&D? I think we were playing or... something. We were playing, playing something, something in the yeah. kitchen, and then a dead rabbit just gets dragged through the cat. No, it was, it was still alive. It was not it was dead, it was still alive. Oh, yeah, it was twitching. It was a little <laughs> rabbit rabbit. But it was brain dead at that point. Yeah, yeah. and he, we were like, we can't do it, so he's dead. <laughs> this guy's <laughs> down, I was like, <laughs> no, I'll Nathan. get the shovel. You know what he did? <laughs> You know that black policeman that just died in Resident Evil? <laughs> My dad did that. Oh, oh no. no! No, oh. Oh, I felt so bad. Oh. Okay. I don't know, obviously, it's sort of, you know, nature and stuff. Done. But it's like, can't... Me and Beck had to euthanise a fish recently, and it was so hard. <laughs> so do you, like, drown the fish? It's difficult. <laughs> um, we put it into a different water container, and then I just got some scissors and just cut it. Oh, God. Oh, God. oh no, that's that's not how you use those of fish. It was the easiest way to do it. I would have put it in the freezer. Fastest. Who did you put down? It was one of the little neons. It was really bad for like two mu- weeks, man. Eating really, it was You're like a murderer. really. Saying that, I actually. Yeah. It was so difficult and awkward that we were both just laughing awkwardly. Oh, like, no. It was horrible. And then afterwards, you can just, just sat there and like, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I can just imagine walking in and then they just they've got scissors. They're just like. I can't believe what I've done. I can just imagine it's all like I just just looking at the Joker that. getting made. <laughs> yeah, that is just that, that little twinkling in the eye. Uh, I had to put down like, one of my baby bearded dragons when they were uh, like a couple of months after they were born. Fucking okay, no, hell, you don't need scissors for that. You need a like some bulb cuts or something. I don't know, I put it in the fridge. So it was like it slowly fell asleep and died that way. Because I'm nice. You fuck. I don't good, know how. No, no. How would you want this bag? How would you? It's want only if it die? doesn't have any type of nervous system that you're supposed to freeze things. I know it was. How would you rather get okay. killed with scissors? Or like that's head, instant. Head, I literally head guillotined to... it. <laughs> no, it didn't sound. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not. It's spit. not. Sorry to disappoint you. When you get your head chopped off, you're still alive. I, no, but he is not feeling any pain. That is it. I could make you a little fish guillotine out of like. I don't want a little fish get a team here. I don't want to have to do this regularly. It's the first time I'm about to do it, so I'll just like snip. I feel like, like there's loads of things you can do, like Christmas to cream. slow them down using like garlic and stuff like that, and then pour some sort of toxin into the water. But no, I get it. You want to try and be like as, as quick humane as, you can. as you possible. Just want to yeah, do it quick. You just want to do it quick. But I mean, scissors. Because that's why I don't with mice. It's just snip and it's done. Didn't they used to? Obviously not now, but back back in the day, you used to like bash heads of like. Yeah, it was just crushing, wasn't it? Yeah. Just knock them on the head. I think it's the same with uh, like rabbit hook. You fling them up. That was like in that Eye Zombie film. film. Uh, no, the series, sorry. They've got a guillotine in that. Because it's to kill zombies, it's not a guillotine. It's literally a giant rock, like an anvil that falls <laughs> onto their head. I reckon that would be more instantaneous. Well, it's a zombie. Because the brain, because you, you get their neck, the brain's still going. Yeah, once that... Your spinal cord's set. But a rock that, that smashes your complete head, yeah, that's going to kill you. Through. Do you reckon just squishing it would have been that? It's not, it's not as good to look at, but I reckon for the person who's getting killed, that would be the quickest the way. This way. Just yeah. obliterate the body. What I'm trying to say is you should get a little rock for your fish. <laughs> She's a pebble for it. <laughs> oh God. I should be laughing at you on this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but that's I'm the so thing. It's so difficult and awkward that we were both just like... <laughs> but I can do it. It was hard enough for me trying to try to, like, you know... Freeze my like my baby beardy. <coughs> Why don't you just go get a euthanose? Euthanase to like the vets. The, that's basically what they would do. No, but I was not. I would inject them with them. Um, give them an inject- injection, wouldn't I? Okay, I, I don't want to sound like a dick. I'm not paying for an injection. I'm fridging no, it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I think lots of the like animal collections and stuff literally pillowcase and then smash. Yeah, it's because it's to save money. Yeah, but I know, but it's just as quick, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like, that is instant. If they're just staying there and squish a rock on them. I know, but it's a lot... When it's your pet and it's... it's this is a it, horrible... When, when this is morbid, when, isn't when it? It is a bit. When it's your pet and it's like part of the family, you don't want to get a pillowcase to it. You want to have some dignity. You want to... Like, it's not like... You want to inject it. Well, no. Like, for instance, if it was my dog, I wouldn't, like, get... Yeah, a... with my dog. If my dog's not well, I'm not taking him to a vet. I'd call a vet out to come and put him down. Yeah, and then, and then it'd be quite... It'd be like, you'd watch him fall like asleep. It'd be a nice pain. process. It wouldn't be horrible. Down, put down nicely. It wouldn't, it, wouldn't, know, it wouldn't be like the scene in I Am Legend, where the... No, oh, God, no. Don't. Stop there. We, we don't... That is such that is, a good that's film. That's a hard, Jeez, film. That's hard not... scene to watch. No, it's a shit film, but that's a good scene. 
No, it's not. It's a good film. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's quite good. It's about zombies slash vampires, or the fuck they called that. UV zombies that thought they had a cancer treatment, they just mutated them. Yeah. It reminded me a bit of Resident Evil, like the old uh, games. But when they were just how the zombies act, would you say? No. Nah. The zombies in the Resident Evil games were like walking. You didn't I swear see... there was one, though. Was it the films? Or... Well, the first, oh, my God. I'm trying to remember. Was there a film? There was. There was there about three, three or four films. No, I think there's yeah. six. Are any of them any good? Now. Is it? Yeah. Any of them any good? The first one. No. The first one's where they go down to the facility and there's like the laser grids. Yep. The second one. Yeah, the garden with chain. Uh, the is the Nemesis. Gun. Yeah, yeah, Nemesis. From yeah. the games, and it's got Jill Valentine in it. No, 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 one, it's not Jill Valentine. It's the one. Um, who is it? I can't remember the fucking name. It's not Jill, though. It's not Claire Redfield. No, no, it's none of them. Ne- Nemesis is just a rat, one of the like, military guys. No, but yeah, I'm not saying Jill Valentine is in it. Oh, sh- oh sorry, I thought you meant like, she no, was I'm not was saying the Nemesis. Nemesis is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Yeah. She's in it. Like, yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. Um, and then she's in it later on in one of the films. She's well. The third that, one right? is the desert. No, no, she's like out of it for ages. She gets kidnapped by Wesper. And then the fourth one's in the prison. I thought that was. And the then the third. fifth one is. The fifth one's after they get out of the prison where the, plane, the helicopter crashes. Yeah, and she's. Uh, where there's a boat. Yeah, and then they go up to the like, Arctic, and then there's the newest one, which is where they're like fighting off all the zombies, Mad Max style, in like America. Oh yeah, because Wesker's six. now president, and they got yeah, flank- yeah, yeah. And yeah, she has to right. like, properly kill Wesker. Yeah, because that was that was a but really. The worst thing is, there's scene. a gap between the fifth and the sixth film where Wesker's like, "Come and help me," blah, blah, blah. and then it doesn't in the sixth film doesn't recap what happened there. Yeah, it just cuts it all out. Okay, that's one thing that I've noticed about the, films but the recently. first, second, and third I think are quite good films. I remember watching yeah. one of them when I was younger, but I can't. The original oh, one wasn't that bad. I want to watch the New Underworld. It came out what, last year before. Oh, the Lycan one where she gets the blonde hair. Yeah, yeah that was really good. Is it actually? Because I've been wanting to watch that for a while. Well, I enjoy more. I just really like the lore in those films. I think it's cool. Yeah. Do they link to the games? There's no Underworld games. No, I mean like. Oh, sorry, <laughs> so yes, I was, yes, they I was they thinking do. of like the Resident Evil films. No, oh, there's, there's references. That's there. about it. Chris and Claire Redfield are kind of similar, so is Jill, but there's no like. West is, oh, God, West Leon's can... bloody awful. They needed a different. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, just. Oh, I think he's supposed funniest... to be the coolest character, and they just. The funniest him. character in all the films was the, the pimp for the. Uh, with, when oh, yeah, his with, with his, his golden two golden guns. guns. Yeah. Oh, my God, the shit he says is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, actually, I might have that over here somewhere. So, what is that? Film night, like, we're going to watch Resident Evil. I've seen the second one, I think, with the Nemesis. Like, Look at that, yeah. you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is so funny. It's the funniest thing. Oh, should we watch Resident Evil's back to back? No. I've no. done that with uh, my friend before, just for the bad. Was, was it a tough night? No, because we had a good laugh watching them because we played the games. Oh, okay. okay. Like, I, yeah. don't, I, said, one, uh, I think Zero and One. Like, watching them for the first it. time is, is a good laugh. Like, they're enjoyable films. Oh, I do want to do what because we um like we as talk- far as films to games go, they're not bad. They like the Tomb Raider films. I, yeah. Wasn't Silent Hill that uh, pretty good though? Yeah, Silent Hill one and two are really creepy films. They're good. Because Sean Bean yeah. doesn't he die. Doesn't die. Yeah, doesn't die. he might die Spoilers. in the second one actually. I think he died in the second one. Well, he didn't die the first <laughs> one, which is an improvement. <laughs> yeah, he lived through one film. So like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, he did through a lot of episodes. Like, not a whole season though. <laughs> no, they not, not quite. The season, he was close. Though. No, but the thing is, without without him, Lord of, Lord of the Rings, uh, Game of Thrones would be Game of Thrones. No, but he's his death triggered Game of Thrones. It's very triggered. He and uh, <laughs> yeah, he kind of took it. Like he captured the audience. He took it from season one. And yeah, because you really got attached to him as a character. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think actually Sean Bean is probably one of my favorite actors. No, he's, he's, he's a good just, actor. I can't think of something he's been in that I didn't like. I really like him in documentaries as well, and he narrates them. Oh, yeah. good hold on. He doesn't die in does, He doesn't yeah. die in... Is he in... He's in Troy, isn't he? With Brad Pitt. Can't remember. I don't, I don't think, think he dies in that either. I think he survives. I don't think he dies in... That one with Gun Carter in it. You is, know, it, with, is, with, it uh, is it Sean Bean? I can't remember. Uh, Sorry. The, the guy who plays Batman, but the good Batman. Christian Bale. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, my... Um, my dog ran away... <laughs> But not for too long, it was just like... What? So basically, it was only for like an hour or so. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, I don't even think that. So I just finished work, got back to... Well, got back home. And um, I got a message saying... They got a, a call from my brother saying... Yeah. Okay. 
got a call from my brother saying, yeah, your dog fucked off for an hour. I was like, how do we just fuck off for an hour? We've got the, this gate that is, you know the gate where like, my office is and stuff? Yeah. That's closed. It should always be closed because we, we were trying to sort out the fences and stuff. He's like, yeah, I don't know. Somehow we got, she got through. I was like, nah, there's no somehow she got through. He's probably, probably, yeah, probably he's fucked probably up. Fucked yeah. up. <laughs> uh, so it was like, because we, we've blocked off like four different exits for her as it were we've done into we've got like fence. a double door system in the hallway so she can't get out yeah we've done Which an entire fucking fence for the, front for the garden no no through the back out so huh? we got through into the, the main part of the garden where my, my oh, carrots and stuff are on the pond yeah, yeah. Uh, and then she just kept running and running and running and somehow she found a gap at the very back of the, the garden I thought you were going to say she like jumped up something like parkour oh no, no I wish Dude. have you seen those videos of like beagles and other dogs like climbing fences though I've seen a cat climb into a window, like from ground floor to like the seventh floor. That's, That's weird, impressive. isn't it? They can run up walls. Yeah. Or beagles. No, I yeah, beagles, the like they can put their paws, on, like, and spaniels do it as well, they're like common mm. climbers. Yeah. But like, they can climb up a chain good. link fence. Like easily climb a chain link fence. Good yeah. Work. Well, yeah, well, I, I can see that, but like a wall. Oh, no, you can't climb, I can't climb I, a wall. I was thinking, no. like, I think but cats, <laughs> can, yeah, cats can run up a, a brick wall. <laughs> That's a neat trick. Can't you also like survive a, a certain amount of story fall as well? So like, oh, that one that's below like two story, they'll they'll die. But like a, and above, I think it's no, nine, there's they'll one die, that but in between, six, they'll survive. Yeah, a six yeah. story building, they, a cat fell out. Do you know there, there's someone here right now who might better do uh, clarify? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, um, that segue right there. I was going to say hidden oh. guest. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to talk about cases at work, but there was that. Uh, we had that one. Well, he's doing it anyway. He's doing it anyway. We had that German, a German Shepherd in that jumped out of a two-story house because it was because it, it saw a pigeon land. It was an open window. It saw a pigeon land, it was literally and it went to go for the pigeon and just fell straight out of the window. Oh, there's oh, videos of cats that jump but just fall. It's doing yeah, it's right. doing fine, by the way. It's made a full recovery, but yeah, okay. it was. It, now you look back on it, it's a stupid idiot. <laughs> like, just because it saw a pigeon. Yeah, it's dogs, the, dogs can be really stupid. It's, it's like just like squirrel. it is. They just lose all like common sense. It's just like I'm, I, I'm I, want, I want pigeon. it. I want the pigeon. That pigeon's fucked. I think, <laughs> I think the thing that what why I could be mad at my dog when she ran away was mainly because you, you, you mainly because it was mine. But uh, <laughs> no, because I was told that basically she ran into another person's house, grabbed the bone, and just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, she's. They must have been eating like chicken, not chicken, like. Um, a, a lamb shank or some shit and she just grabbed the bone and just fucked up out of the house <laughs> and was chewing it do you now feel safe leaving your dog with your family while you're here no no, no. I have to go back there every day anyway so it's fine yeah I was thinking oh. that because you work there it's not like yeah. you're away from your pet. though for the weekend it's, she doesn't miss me she oh, doesn't care she does the problem is because you have a pack they're more bonded to yeah. each other than yeah so we've got two, she would miss two like, uh, King Charles Cavaliers and two Huskies my it's such a strange it's a weird as well. yeah. I've got two very big eyebrowed dogs <laughs> and then two little couch dogs. Yeah. yeah. One of them's very much a couch potato. <laughs> Poppy, yeah. The yeah. funniest thing is when you go in and see them like sitting with an arm up on the chair and they're, they're like literally, what are you doing in my room? Yeah. <laughs> you walk out Get out of my Mickey Mouse. Oh god. What's brilliant is they all run up to you apart from is it Poppy? Poppy just kind of she's like, no. gets up and she's like, Yeah, Ruby will come and say, <laughs> like, Poppy's no, like, I tries to make it. I'm too comfy right now. Well, no, it, it depends on the person because I found out Poppy is racist. She hates other uh, Welsh people. She'll bark at any Welsh person that comes into the house. Oh, I didn't think that's where you were going with that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair Welsh enough. Welsh, Welsh people so you were going black. <laughs> wow, you're racist. <laughs> no, no, honestly, honestly we got. <laughs> that's you. You, you would think a dog would be able to tell about skin colour. You think they'd make that. Well, no, so they, they, they look in. They, they, Black and white, aren't they? Yeah. It's Usually. like with kids, because I remember apparently when I was a child, I used to, I used to. Where are you going with no, this? When I was a child, I was the, the my, my mum would push me in a pram and I would stare at. I would be like, <laughs> I would, and she was, she'd be like, I walk to a shop, there'd be a black person, and I wouldn't be able to stop staring. Saying but, that, like I'm, a, I'm like two. What am I going to do? When, when I was about four, I'd never five, seen one before. Uh, you know, North Sea. Really bad. I was a fish and chip shop. Yeah, yeah. So I was in North Sea with mum and dad once. I was well, actually my mum, uh, and I was looking at one of the guys. And went, do you know what? You look like Jackie Chan, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh," and I was like, oh. "Now I think about no, it, I'm racist as fuck, but what a legend!" <laughs> but like, yeah, he played on it well. Yeah, you know what would have been really cool if he gave you one of those medallions from the stage. Oh my god! <laughs> I think it was actually. I love that, that, that series. Well. Yeah. Oh, that, you know what? They should remaster that. 
I used to collect I bring you can remaster a cartoon series. You can, and you should. I'm sure they also, have you seen the latest stuff for Teen Titans? The cast mm. looks quite good. Oh, God, here we go. No. Right, go on then. It's not the, se- it's not the same people mm. from right. that other one that you saw. Starfire they... doesn't look like that. Oh, thank God. Wait, is that that Netflix one? No, no, it's the actual... It's the official film. official DC... Oh, the official yeah. film? Yeah. Film? Yeah. they got a film coming out? Yeah. Is it live? Yeah. Is it, like, animated or is uh, it... Maybe I'm not supposed to know. My sister recently spoke to a Warner Brothers person who came in. We right? <laughs> 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 can get views! Put <laughs> this out! Like, <laughs> Yay! Uh, surely, uh, surely, shh! Yeah, because otherwise she wouldn't have told us, would she? Oops. They've got, <laughs> a, they got a Teen Titan Go film... <laughs> I don't think it's that. No, it's got real actors. We've actually got something that no one else knows about, possibly. So there's going to be real so there's going to be a Teen Titan, like not animated, like live action film. No. I will cream in my pants if yeah. it's true. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't see anything here. You got the Teen Titans. So I was asking what the actors looked like, and she was like, "They looked like they did in the Teen Titan series that we liked." Oh, I love that. So your sister's going out with a Warner Bros. No, no, no. She works at um, a, a cinema. And they get representatives of certain companies, and a Warner Brothers representative. Well, and he just in. let this slip. No, and they tell you about films you need to push. So one of them was Megalodon. One of them was the Teen Titans film, <sighs> and then another one was something else that I can't remember. You sure Megalodon looked good actually? I, I want to see that. Yeah, just I do want to see that. I want to see it in 4DX. 4DX. What? Yeah, when I you're mean, in the chair, he I can't smell be so Raven funny. and Starfire. <laughs> Should we do it? No, should we, not should we, do, should we do it? I want to see Megalodon oh, right. in 4DX. Should we do it? That'd be hilarious. I think if you guys didn't see it, I was going to see it with my other mates. Let's, be, let's be honest. You're always going to see it with your other mates. You always forget Matt, about us. Matt's got loads of money, so I was like, Matt, come with me. We're going to go see it. How has he got that money, Nathan? Yeah, he's got it from his dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll 100% be up for that. Also, that film with the gun carter in was Equilibrium. Oh, I think I've heard that. Oh, is that the one? They live in like a world where they can't have any emotions. Mm, yeah, Wait, the film's equilibrium. Yeah, and then he does like gun carter where you like punch and shoot. I'm and thinking of the equalizer. Yeah. I was thinking of that's uh, the no, Washington. No, 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 no. That's a good film. Though. Yeah, that was good. He was like the retired hitman, isn't he? Or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they bring out another one. What an um, equalizer too. Mm-hmm. Denzel Washington. Also, saw over Same. there, Fast and Furious Eight. Was far, the last Fast and Furious film I saw was the one where Paul Walker's dead. Yep. Is eight. that Fast and Furious 7? I yes, about seven. His house. 8 is the one after Paul Walker. Is that the one where they go to Dubai? Yeah, no. Or is Paul Walker alive in that one? No, Paul Walker's alive in Dubai, that's 7. 8 is where Ooh. they end up in this I've not seen snow that one. one. I've not seen it. You've not seen it? No, it's good. I haven't seen it. No, they I start. After Paul Walker died, I couldn't really be bothered. I think I haven't seen that. It starts. The fifth it's, one it's, I've seen that. I think 8's know. actually really good, but they start in um, Cuba. Oh, cool. And, uh, it's I mean, the good. scenery and stuff like that. That, place to that go is to. the one. Me and Amy went to see it, and I bought the tickets, and I accidentally bought 4DX tickets. Oh, and that was exciting. No, she, Amy hated it. Literally, we walked in, and we were like, why is there harnesses? And I was like, what's going on? And we sat down, and I was and like, the chair no. Started I was, and she was like, have you bought 4DX? I was like, no, no, there's no way. No way. And then it came from Did the screen. Did you realise you like, paid 20 something pound for a ticket? I, right. I, obviously not. And I. <laughs> <laughs> Where well, was the fucking sale on that it one? Came eh? up, yeah. But yeah, anyway, we sit, sat down and it came up with signs on the screen. It was like, uh, cannot cannot be present if pregnant or if, and I was like, heart heart problems. Yeah. Or, and I was like, you know what? What's after going seeing on? Deadpool there, my back hurt because it has those panels, doesn't it, in the back that get you in the back, and that hurt. Yeah, no, they have that. Like, they have the water day, spray. Like, oh. <laughs> what was even more annoying is there's a button next to it which says if you, you turn, turn water off. on, and mine, I was like. I kept turning mine off and then I would look through the film and I'd be like, what? it's on again. Why is it on? And it turns out, I didn't realise until after the film, Amy kept turning mine back on. <laughs> Sadly. Yes, I was trolled. like, oh, it really pissed me off. The best thing about was... Deadpool is whenever he shot somebody in the head, it blood spray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that was real. But yeah, it made me feel a bit, because there's a lot of car chases and stuff, so it made yeah. me feel a bit... Bit like I don't know, I couldn't concentrate on the film because I was concentrating on me just doing this. Yeah, my friend saw time. Mad Max. I'd start doing like, that and i fuck it over yeah. it. My friend saw Mad Max and he was like, it was just insane. Well, the, the opening it's scene... The whole thing's in cars, so the whole time just like... Yeah, the, op- <laughs> the opening is pretty much like that, but the opening scene is you're in Cuba and you're going over waves. Oh, so okay. the beginning bit, you're just doing this. Really? You're like that. 
Is it that would, you, would you say you're going over way back the way? <laughs> you know, like but, when you're in a car and then you go over a steep hill and it gives you that like feeling. Like you lost your bollocks. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, like that. Continues. Like you've lost Ooh. your bollocks. <laughs> it does, it's it's like butterfly. I, I used to be like, oh, I just lost my knob and all this, like, whatever. I used to be younger. It's like, like my weird, balls have died. A weird tickling sensation in your stomach. Yeah, and you spend some money, gay. <laughs> yeah. I prefer mindless balls. It makes it sound really <laughs> weird, actually, because there's nothing wrong with being gay. Well, what, what would you describe? How would you describe it? Go on. Lost it's bollocks. literally like your innards just go up and then down, isn't it? Yeah. Like inside of you. Well, that sounds painful. Yeah, it is it painful. Is. It's weird. It's not painful. Yeah, it's not normal, is it? It's like you've had a <laughs> cheeky little love tap, but it went a bit wrong. <laughs> I don't think there's a love tap is how I would refer to this. <laughs> what even is a love tap? I thought it was just a bell punch. <laughs> <laughs> Love oh, tap. Love yes, that's just, oh gosh, no, no, no. I don't want to picture that. Do you not notice about our podcast? They are terrible. We talk a lot of bollocks. I love it when you go off on your tangents, though. But Kieran rewatches them so much. Yeah, I think you actually the, the main it's person. Yeah, like the plane it? story one. Kieran's watched like five times, and he edits them as well. So he watches it. I because I put them on um, iTunes and I'm at work. They're on iTunes, people. And I just listen to it, and it is. In fairness, your plane story is is pretty funny. Oh, God. Like, right. It's one of those stories that you're like, it would only happen to Jock. <laughs> it's just it's hilarious. I, funny enough, I've got a bit of a story for you. It's, <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one. Okay, you're going to love this, Kieran. Did I ever tell you about the time where I got a, friend, a message from a friend who was like, I've married a pony? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> right. <Stay> back. <laughs> so I, I will say, the, the kid is, well, I say the kid, he's so much, the same age as us, a little bit stacked. Same age as you, same age as Kieran, same age as me. Yeah. A little bit special. Mentally, he's about a different age. Which one? Same age as us too, because we're about the same age, aren't we? You're just a bit younger. Yeah, he's he's younger. Same age as us. He's he's mentally about ten, but like you know, I'm I'm a nice person until I've said this story. Um, Oh no! I'm not. I'm not an arsehole. This is a sense. Kieran's thinking. Do I need to edit this out? No, no. So um, he messaged me. I think it was about two months ago. So it was happening. He was like, how are you being? I was like, yeah, I'm good. And he was like, hey, guess what? And I was like, you know, what? And he was like, I married a pony. And I was like... Marrying or married? Married. Oh. And I was like... So you didn't get invited to the wedding? No. <laughs> the thing was, I was looking at it. I was like... Oh. What, even the reception? No. But I was looking at it. I was like... What? I was like... Are you friends say? with this person? Or is this just a stranger? I'm friends with him. Sort of. Um, <laughs> are you going to name names? No. No. I, think, I know I could probably guess who you're talking about probably I, uh, I know yeah about. so I was like congratulations <laughs> I guess I'd like what would you say in that situation I would say what was your first dance to Is it <laughs> <laughs> and then he was talking about oh. you, you should have done loads of puns like you just horsing around <laughs> yeah, was... and he was talking about uh, like My Little Pony I was like oh this makes a little bit more sense now it was like oh my god yeah, he was Rory? no <laughs> no Drop, One, he's older than us, so no. But um, ask him. he was saying like, uh, I don't, was it like it's like Rainbow Dash? Is that the one? I thought I don't know. Wait, so he didn't marry a real horse? No, no, no. He was like saying like so all of his a... friends were saying he'd never be able to marry Rainbow Dash, and he was like, so I proved him wrong. And he sent me a picture of this marriage certificate, and I was like, you don't know this one's fake, right? And he goes, no. It's like, yeah, it says it at the very bottom. Like, this is this is a fake thing. Is he, he goes, a brony? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, and I was like, but you know, congratulations and all that, trying to sort of keep him high hoped and all this malarkey. And then a couple of days later, he sent me another picture of an actual marriage certificate. And actually, I'll read it to you. I got it on Facebook. <laughs> this is it. so weird. I know. How would you think I felt when I saw it? I think that'd be a deal breaker for me. <laughs> so, wait, what's he married? Is it the is character? It or yeah. is it like a. Can no, you do that? No, you can't. Because it's not. You can marry like an ice I object. Well, I don't know. Well, okay. Right. It was, it's more, he's not actually married to him technically. It even says it in this email, in this picture as well. But I didn't want to break his heart. Bless okay. his cold socks. So he, I told them he hasn't actually worked out that this is actually not. Much, yeah. So it says, via this email, we pronounce you husband and wife, regardless of your race, language or faith. From this day forward, you will feel no rain for... No rain? Yeah, no rain that's a really weird sentence now. I think it's a pun. Like, yeah, it's a horse pun. For each of you will be shelter for each uh, for the other. You will feel no cold. For each of you will be warmth. It sounds like something from fucking. Can I have a look at it? I just want to see it. Sure. 
Oh my god. <laughs> but near the end, it basically says, this is actually a non binding marriage. Have fun, basically. It's just weird. Oh, pass it, pass it on. It's just weird. Oh, it is. Um, so. Oh, here it is. Yes, it is. Buddy, hope you had a good Easter. Miss you, mate. I was like, uh, yeah, you too, mate. Sorry, too busy. Sort Why of work a good out. Easter? Because this is what he sent me about oh, Easter. Oh, okay, okay. Are you taking your time now to tell us? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, he saves these for these kind of situations. Yeah, and he was like, I'm fine. <laughs> he he was basically on, like, how on the you survive all this? Yeah, so he said he's good and all this. And he was like, I'm, uh, he said, got married. Lol. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, I read that bit. Just so, your last uh, conversation. How you been? Got married. Lol. <laughs> Just, you know. <laughs> and I was like, I went, really? And then he sent me a picture of Rainbow Dash. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I should do. With sunglasses on. So you, you initially thought that, that was just like a, um, that in shades being like cool. Well, the thing like... is, he'll send about seven messages within the space of a minute. Because that's sort of, that's one of his like, uh, I don't know, like, you know when you've got to do things, like turn up for like, like seven or eight times sort of things. He does that. Oh. So he sent me about seven or eight messages. I, I, I was like, you think you've locked the door, but you do it like loads yeah, of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like, everyone told me I can't, so I have uh, so I have married Rainbow Dash officially. I have a certificate, so yeah, I'm officially married now to Rainbow. Everyone said I can't marry a pony, so I did. And I was like, well, I don't understand congratulations. What he's married to. Is it just the character or a little figure or a horse? I, I think it's the character. But obviously he's not legit married. Well, no, and I, I, know, ga- I, I, know, I gathered that when you first said yeah, it. Yeah, I know I sound like a dick, and I'm, that I'm bringing it up in all this. Now that's odd. But it is, yeah. <laughs> If you had to marry a fictional character, like if it first thing that comes to your head, what what are you thinking of right now? Sumardi, because she's got this massive jokes. Difficult. <laughs> what are you thinking of right now? Is that, is that what you're saying? Is that... I don't know. No. No. Thomas Tank Engine. Does that make you gay? No, it's not exactly real, is it? I don't know. I think Thomas. No, I think it does. Thomas is. A, Thomas is has he got a pain? Have you ever seen him shag one of the other no, time? He's, he's clearly a male. I mean, but he's making some connections with. <laughs> like he's towing something. <laughs> he's got baggage. <laughs> he's also a dragon, depending on if you play the mods. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, you know what I feel really bad for Thomas Tank Engine. You know what I feel bad for those like coal engines. They just get towed around. Or they Dude, there, around there was an episode of. Uh, they can't even move around themselves. They have to wait for another engine to pull them. Like, what sort of it's life a is that? Life, man. It's a hard There was life. an episode where where uh, in where one of them got bricked up. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I was like, oh, like this is, yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah. Was like, this is fucking it. dark for a kids show. Well, no, yeah, because they like, used to. They used to. Um, because they can't call the guy the fat controller anymore, can they? Nah. Was that what his name used to be? The fat yeah, controller. controller. Yeah, he used to be the fat controller. I think he's now the morbidly obese controller. Uh, <laughs> no, he's not. He's just. I think. I can't remember what they call him. He's high on the BMI controller. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God. She's not going to answer the question, then. What if, if you had to marry a cartoon character? No, like a fictional character. Just like. And like. From Hermione? From like. If you had to. Like, <laughs> if you yeah. had to do. <laughs> the Monopoly Man. He's rich. He's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Is he rich though? Actually, no, the banker. He just, he, just, <laughs> he just deals the. He's not the rich one out of that, is he? What did Josh say officially? What's your I think he, I think he would marry no, no, no character. No, no. I don't know. I think it's like maybe White uh, Weiss, just because her dad rich. If, we, if for some strange we had kids, they'd have to the little make the weird animal thing, summoning thing. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool actually if you could marry like because then you you would. Get some are, we, are, we, are we getting proper in depth with this now? <laughs> you made you, you went there. I'm just fucking. If, if you marry someone cool in that idea. universe, are you also part of that universe? And you also get those powers. Or is this literally just like that guy, just proper marrying <laughs> Rainbow Dash, and we're just a normal? Guy? No, I'll say. I, mean, I, I feel really you get bad for bringing it up. Or now. you get there like you obviously want to marry someone from Naruto, then, don't you? Is, yeah, that, like, is that the universe Sasuke. you want to be in? Yeah. He'll marry like I'm Sasuke or some shit because he's that inclined. I'll, I'll pick Sakura because then I will be Sasuke. <laughs> Oh, yeah, really? I'm even gonna, I'll take. I'll lose a limb as well. I'll take it. <laughs> you can even lose a limb. I'll, even, I'll lose a limb. What about an eye? Don't you you what eyes? I'll prob- I'll, just an eye nick, one, I'll nick my no. brother's eyes because that's how it works there. Well, no, because take him out, swap him. He's got his bog standard eye, and he just unlocks the other one, like mm. his Renegon. Right? Yeah, well, I thought he got one like taken out. No, he t- he got both eyes where it. Well, like Keeper's sister. What? Because you know, so nobody else has married her, have they? You know, you don't, you don't know that. In the Inazuka clan, give me a dog. 
I can actually tell you still about this. Yeah, I feel like yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're going with. The four was with his other half, that's what we were thinking. Yeah. I'm going with that. I've chosen. Oh, okay. My turn. I think... Um, I think his Dragon Ball is quite cool. Oh, Android 18. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like... And, like, cause you don't need... To, I feel like you could just... Or like, if you oh, picked so if I was Zelda, 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 would you then be Link? No, well, you'd, no you'd, you'd be, be you. You would be... You would be Oh yeah, yeah, it's just like that. But would you be in that universe, Hank? Because if that's the case, I'm going to be swollen. So you, you don't want to be in the universe, you want to be a character. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want to be in Link's universe without being Link. Yeah. Because it's pretty horrible for everybody else. Like when Ganon takes over. <laughs> everyone or like, else. Or like, no, everybody in the Legend of Zelda universe has a horrible life. Okay, if you were Ganon, what would you do differently? Uh, nah, I'd totally let the moon plummet into the earth and kill everyone. But was that a Ganon plot or was that someone else? No, it's the one where Ganon's not a bad guy, is it? No. So if you were Ganon, that's the you one wouldn't... one where Ganon's not a bad guy. It's I don't think Ganon was even in it. Yeah, it's even worse. Ganon's not there. It's the moon. So if you were Ganon, you wouldn't turn over a new leaf, you know, try and. Well, I feel the weirdest thing about Ganon, right, is he's quite old and he's stealing Princess Zelda, who in that is quite young. He's a bit of a pedo. A bit like Bowser. <laughs> we don't know how old Bowser is. He's taught us. Isn't he? Or Peach. <laughs> is it, wait, is, does Bowser go for Peach or? Peach or has Peach to be or... a bit older. Is it Peach or... And then there's, there's got Maybe. to be a female no, Bowser. I think there's, but there's got to be a female Bowser because he has loads of kids. No, but they're adopted. Are they? Yeah, I think he's only got, actually got one legit it's baby kid. baby Bowser. He's, Which one does Donkey... Donkey Kong, yeah. Donkey Donkey Kong, Kong kidnaps uh, the, the um, mayor. Yeah, but she wasn't the mayor at the time. I can't remember fucking name now. I don't remember. These are the C. They're not from the... I can't remember. I thought... It'd be... oh. I'm getting confused now. I thought Donkey, the Donkey Kong. Kong's like girlfriend in the Donkey Kong universe looks like a person. Yeah, that is really weird. Like she has monkey traits, but the body of a person. But Donkey Kong has Donkey Kong Junior. So surely Donkey Kong. No, the weirdest thing is isn't Donkey That's Kong cousin, Junior remember. his dad? No, it's his cousin. Yeah, if you no, it's or not. something weird like that. Yeah, what? Because Donkey Kong doesn't have a kid. If you look up the lore of it all, like it's like one of them's like his uncle and stuff. And it's weird because Donkey Kong has the name of his dad. Yeah, you got Diddy Kong, which is oh, no, Diddy Kong is is his, uh, his cousin. cousin. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, you might be right. And then like Donkey Kong Junior is like his dad or something weird. So like Donkey yeah, Kong Junior, no, got the yeah, old gave kid. birth to Donkey. No, 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 because no, no, you got you got no, the no, old geezer. No, so donkey... Yeah, like then uh, you got Donkey Kong Junior, then you got Donkey Kong. But there's loads of Donkey Kong characters. Like I'm gonna look up the Donkey Kong family tree because it's weird. There's loads of like weird sounding ones. So yeah. who's the mother? I don't think there is one, it's just not, she's not in the story. She's, she's just like a... They reproduce a asexually. Side, she's someone that he just bangs off set. She's a side chick. And then <laughs> all of a sudden Junior appears. Okay. Junior? Junior? Uh, Henry, the head is lighter than the sword. I love that step. I love that scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like only the pedator can pass. Only bank man will pass. It's very tempting. You hold the kings of a G. A G. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, he eats shit. Diddy Kong is his nephew. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't mean he has a brother or sister or some shit. But have we got to as Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong's dad? No. So, okay. I'm trying to get a clearer one here. Because I'm pretty sure the main Donkey Kong has got to be head of the family tree. Okay, so there's. Cranky Kong. That's the grandpa. Married Wrinkly Kong. She's a ghost in the games. Yeah. Uh, and then below you... that is Donkey Kong Jr., who's Cranky's Whoa, son. Whoa, yeah. how do you marry a Donkey ghost? Kong is Cranky... Well, she was alive, obviously, at one point, but Cranky Kong's now an old man. Right. Donkey Kong is Cranky's grandson, Donkey Kong Jr.'s son. Yeah. And then there's Candy Kong, who just looks like a blonde-haired woman. Sorry, he's got ghost. He's got ghost. Oh, no. I'll get it, I'll get it up in a second. Like, show the pictures of Candy Kong, because she I think I know who looks is like. pretty odd looking. Yeah. It's, it's odd. She's she got doesn't hair look like, like everybody else. Yeah. And then Diddy Kong is his nephew. Dixie Kong is Diddy's girlfriend. Chunky Kong is Donkey, <laughs> Dixie, and Teeny's cousin. Kitty Kong Wait, 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 is... wait, 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 wait. Could you imagine? Chunky Kong is Donkey Kong's... And Dixie Kong and Teeny Kong's cousin. So basically, they're Dixie and Donkey related. So incest with Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong. Could you imagine if you were Chris? Oh and no, Chunky? no, not Diddy Kong. 
Dixie Kong and Tiny's cousin. Which one's Tiny? Tiny Kong. Tiny Kong is Dixie's younger sister. Okay. I oh did not realise this family easy. tree was okay. I thought Kong, it was like three or I four characters. Mine was bad. Funky Kong is Donkey Kong's friend. And <laughs> then there's Lanky Kong, who's an orangutan, so surely he can't be related to the Kong. Well, if I was going to be one, I think Lanky Kong is... A twisted twig on a distant branch of the family tree is the description <laughs> for Lanky Kong. <laughs> he got hit by the ugly tree. <laughs> but somehow, yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. is Cranky's son. And then Donkey Kong is Cranky's son. Okay. So basically, that... what we found out is <laughs> we know so... fuck all about Donkey Kong, really. Well, nobody knows the lore of the Donkey Kong. So where does Donkey Kong, Kong fall in that, in that family tree? Donkey Kong is in the middle. He's in the middle. In yeah. the middle. He's got a lot of cousins, got a girlfriend, got a nephew. Got any sons? No. No, he doesn't have any kids. He doesn't. Okay. He, he I always thought Junior was his son. Junior? No. No. Junior? Yeah, I... yeah, but Diddy Kong is the one that he's with all the time, and that one's his nephew. Yeah, I think it's because obviously Cranky Kong used to be Donkey Kong, so then Donkey Kong Junior. So, so actually, yeah, in some it's games, Senior Junior you play as Cranky Kong. Yeah, because it's for Donkey Kong. Yeah, but obviously, but he's just I reckon Donkey the Kong. one that kidnapped the mayor might not even be Donkey Kong. It could be Cranky Kong, or it could be Junior. So Donkey yeah. Kong is making up for his granddad's mistakes. Yeah, he's trying to save the world because he's done a lot of mess. I feel like we're just making law for a game that doesn't exist. Yeah. Let's no, do it. Not what not other game doesn't have much lore? What much lore or lore you have to make up on your own? We're gonna make it up right now, basically. <laughs> there isn't. A, there isn't really a game that doesn't have much lore. I wouldn't say, unless it was just like a not very. You could drop in some bounce ones and be like Destiny. <laughs> no, the thing is, it so does. It has say, loads of lore. Yeah, but you, got, you have to you get find special it. cards to look yeah. it up and stuff like that, and then the story is really broken. I mean, that's one thing that's good about Destiny. What I will say is, if and you look the at the lore, it's good. It's yeah. very well written. It's got really cool storylines. I know, but it's, it's a lot of effort to find. Like, there's it. dragons in that universe that they hunted to near extinction. They've not got one in yet. What shit? Is that what you're waiting for? Maybe this DLC will have it. Well, I sure, really hope so. One thing I annoy about the, the, the Leviathan raid was the fact that in we don't talk about the Leviathan raid. What's the what's the uh, watery? What's the watery place? Um, the bathhouse. You said in the Leviathan bathhouse, raid. Yeah. No, not in the raid stuff. In the planet. Which one is it? In the Mercury, isn't it? Which we Titan. Have, Titan, sorry, yeah. That's a moon. Uh, no, I don't know what it is. He's getting a law on you now. Go on. Um, but if you, if like, when you look out into the ocean, at a point where a big fucking fish thing, you can sort of see the, the, the You like, fight the that in one of the later games, in one of the DLCs. Oh, you do? Oh, okay, that's what I was thinking. Like, people were thinking that's the but Leviathan. Yeah, they think that thing they, was, That should have yeah, been the fucking been the raid, raid. But yeah. instead the Leviathan was the world eater, but it was the ship that... Yeah, it's just Callus shit. Has, that's like shit. Emperor Callus or whatever his name was. But yeah, you fight one of them in, in the game and it's one of the worm gods. Yeah. Or what they believe in, anyway. The Destiny 2. Yeah, it's in one of the DLCs, one of the final ones you fight a worm god. Yeah. So, what was the gap between 1 and 2, Destiny 1 and 2? How, how many years was it? That basically was nothing. Pretty much straight after, basically. Yeah. Yeah. You, it's a tough time for you, Guardian. <laughs> resurrected. <laughs> Killed, resurrected, killed, resurrected. <laughs> it's, it's like, the head died, it wasn't survived. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I, wonder, I wonder if they're going to make three. Hopefully they're thinking of three. For a while, I reckon. If well, they do make three, they need to sit down and work on the story and how they're going to implement it. I think it's not just the story, it's gameplay's got to change more. The, the end game has got to be there if, the, if everyone's got to wait for the fucking end game. There's a whole planet for end game now as well. And did it, did it for me or the story... The ending of the story of the Destiny Two didn't feel very. Right. It didn't show you that it was coming to an end, did it? Something no, it, it kind of just ended. Going up to you ended fighting. and you were like, "Is that it? We're done." And it was just kind of a bit. Actually, the final boss fight was shit as well. It was. It was really easy. Well, it was kind of cool that you used like loads of different guardians' powers and stuff, but they didn't do it well. You, well, yeah, it's not even that. It's it was better than the dark heart thing. Yeah, but I actually found it more difficult. Mainly because on my own, but I found it more difficult than we were over leveled though. And we got to... Well, no, we were 20, weren't we? Yeah, exactly. yeah. You weren't supposed to be, though. Like, we already had a sparrow before we got to the end of the game. We are supposed to be given a sparrow. He got a legendary sparrow. Yeah. No, he got an exotic sparrow. Oh, sorry, exotic. Yeah. I got an exotic one, and then you got one finally, recently. Yeah, I paid for one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, Josh. We've already been through this. I still remember I have how a problem. you got from that. You can't help microtransaction. Look it up. Games with bad lore. I think you, you got, got How much did you spend on Destiny 2 then? The microtransaction? Not as much as, uh, as other games. 
<laughs> Not as much as I wanted to say Pokemon Go. No, I was playing anything Pokemon Go. You haven't? No. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, that's one game I will not spend money on. Because I will, it will just take my money. When I was it. I spent... <laughs> Somebody said Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. No, that's got the most fucking convoluted law you'll ever meet. Um, <laughs> I the like... overarching Kingdom Hearts law kills whatever interest I have whenever a new trailer of Kingdom Hearts 2 comes out. Well, there can't, there's not a lot of Metal Gear Kingdom Hearts, Hearts does Kingdom not Hearts, tell you anything. That's you got to be kidding me. No, Kingdom Hearts is a conglomeration of a load of random stuff, isn't it? Like, mm. they've got Frozen in it and they've got, like... Yeah, but there is... Don't worry about the Disney shit. It's the bits in between that, like the actual Organisation 13 and uh, Xemnas and Xehanort. All that stuff you need to think about. The stuff that aren't Final Fantasy or Disney. So what, do you ignore? Basically. Final Fantasy and Disney. Okay. Yeah, besides Sephiroth, because he's a cunt. Somebody said uh, <laughs> Zach because he killed that girl. Well, that as well, no, but he was a bitch to kill in Kingdom Hearts 1. Is he like half alien or something, though? He's got like the genes of the god or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Or the mother. Uh, or somebody said the game the worst law ever was Sega Bass Fishing. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the Dreamcast fishing game. Oh, no, no, no. Shaq Fu, that's got really shit. Um... Have you seen that there's now Barak Fu? Which is where you play as Barack Obama. We need that in our lives. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. No. I've... I never played Wasn't that a really popular game? Yeah, they've got, they've got a movie out, they've got books. It's gone... It's got a film of Five yeah. Nights at Freddy's. I'm waiting for a Kingdom Hearts film now. It's got to happen. No, it won't. It will. If Five Nights at Freddy can, fucking Kingdom Hearts can. I suppose Final Fantasy <laughs> did, did do one. Yeah, and Dragon Ball so... Z, but it was shit. Metroid, we about that. Oh, the Dragon Ball we don't evolution. Talk about that. We don't, yeah, we don't yeah. mention that. Yeah, like Metroid, somebody said, but that, a lot of that law you have to look at yourself. Yeah. What was that? Because um, a lot of the um, single player story games, like Until Dawn, um, Heavy Heavy Rain, Heavy. Yeah, but that didn't have law to it, it was just a story. Just like State good... of Decay doesn't actually have that much law. What's the difference between law and story? Yeah, that's the thing, there is a difference, isn't it? Well, lore is more like the history of the, the world history itself. of it itself. The story is what's happening in the game. So, like the background fact. So, yeah, like it's a yeah. story game. There's no background fact to it. Yeah. Okay. There's loads in Halo then. Um, there is. Yeah. So many books. So many. Se- I'm not sure what's canon. Yeah, and so much of all the different races and why they join the Covenant and stuff like that. So even Assassin's Creed got a lot of lore. Even yeah. Sea of Thieves have got a fucking book out for some lore. Oh, it's just it's. They, it's I, actually quite a good read. <laughs> yeah, did you buy it? Yeah, yeah. And oh, he came with my collection of system, I don't know how, but yeah. you need something else. It's just they don't want to make combat out, like um uh, like what's the word unbalanced. Yeah. So they won't do it, but like it needs something there. You know what they need? I think they need more need land-based good. stuff. I know mean, that sounds weird for like a game for a which is game. primarily boats, but. I know it mean, does feel like the, are too the small. combat's a bit boring as well. That's you get off, you're on a small island, you kill everything, and then you get back on your boat and you sail off. They need like a more, I don't know, just one thing I like to do bigger I... islands and bigger kind of things mm. for you to explore. Caverns, okay, you could dive down into like, like cave systems. Yeah, one thing I did like, I did like to do. They need more things in the mass of the ocean as well. There needs to be more interesting things. But you yeah. can explore and stuff. like more shunken ships and like crevasses. That you yeah, can a variety of. Of like monsters, not just like sharks and yeah, the odd skeletons. kraken. That you want to, the I don't want to do like I think there's a way to do it. And stuff like that, isn't it? They want. Yeah, I, I like to make my own like, like story reg- why I'm on the sea whenever the I'm me- playing that. Is it a megalodon they put in? That's a cool yeah. idea, but why did that go you're ready to do that now. Huh? Yeah. Me and Kieran are ready to we're, do it. We're ready to do it. Wait for everyone else. What? We've got the tattoos. <laughs> we've got the instrument. Oh, fuck! Yeah. You went off, and then we finished. It was when it. you went off. Me and Kim were like, "Should we just unlock everything so that we can do it?" So we're I'm ready, ready. waiting for you guys. Sure, this is exactly fucking like the rage of bloody destiny. <laughs> fuck you guys! No, right, we can't do it until you were you've done it. And we were already on step four or something. So Kim was like, "Should we just go and get the other two books?" I was like, "Yeah." Right. And then we did. I hate but you guys but so we need much, we right need right everyone now. though. We so need you much. to do yeah, it. You need, you need well, you need something like three ships, doesn't it? It says you need. Yeah. You need something like, I think it's you need eight crew members to... We haven't yeah. actually fought the main one. We, just, we, we are now at a point where we, cool we can do it. We just need... Uh, the tattoos are quick. Basically, what you need to do is you need to have a drum, have a tattoo, no, no. and then have five or six people do it at the same yeah. time. And then it summons So you. we need... But I still fucking hate you guys. You were the one who went offline. <laughs> I couldn't help it. 
I don't remember what I was doing. I think it was probably your internet, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we were, we were there, we were doing yeah, it. We were just going Fuck through it. And we we, we just sort of carry progress. on. And we got them now. Do they? Does, do, do the viewers know of the, the Destiny story as well? You yeah. know, where we all yeah, plan yeah, yeah, to do yeah, something yeah, and then yeah, you, yeah. your fucking friend was like, hurry up. I was like, but we made plans for fucking half seven. It was seven, you know, had things to do. Fuck you guys. In fairness, it was like an hour Fuck after you. <laughs> it, was, it was the sweatiest game I'd ever done because I just... I didn't oh, talk. No. I didn't talk to anyone. I was so scared of cocking something up. Destiny raids are like that though. If you fuck something up for everyone, oh my god! Like I was doing Callus the final boss fight, and my controller disconnected, and it killed everyone when I died because <laughs> they never want to revive things, and it was all my fault. But, but that's that terrified me because I was like, these, I don't know these people. They're taking it very seriously. Yeah. We were doing really well. As like well. Nathan, Nathan <laughs> would pop in with a load of bants, and everyone would laugh at it. But it's all right for Nathan because he's actually very good at Destiny, and he yeah. can hold it up. I'm no, not no, very no. good. I got can't. a very good KD though recently. Plus, I get every time I play it, which really annoys me. So I'm trying to do the Iron Banner. So I want some stuff. I keep getting angry messages from people. I got so many range messages. And it's like just don't reply to them because you get banned. I can't reply to them because I'll get banned. Copy them all. Let let's read them out. No, well, they're on the next box. Do you remember them? Online. I got one that's called me a lagging C word. C word? Which I probably am lagging because my connection goes into kilobytes at times. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, I'm playing fine. <laughs> for me, I'm doing really well. Yeah. He's not moving at all. <laughs> I, so, I hate doing banners and stuff because they're just. The, 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 um... It's such a grind because you can't pick what you want to unlock. I just want the cape. I always just want the cape that's got first It's, it's it not even cool. that. It's such a fucking toxic community. Even worse than Call of Duty and stuff. Yeah, in, in sweaty online games, I don't like. I don't like the people. No, but I mean, when us three play, it's like if you don't have the best gun, there's no point playing against against anyone because you're not going to. Didn't we have like a couple of games really well. And it is so fun to use. It's a three round burst hand cannon. If you kill someone with a headshot, triggers your health regen. <laughs> but didn't we do really well in online for a little bit? Yeah, and then I thought we did. We yeah, and, and then the, 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 sort of... the worst one is trials. Trials of the Nine. Yeah. It used to be called Trials of Osiris, and it's where it comes on for a limited time and you can get like super, super good gear, but you have to win a certain amount of games in a row. And it's if you lose five, three, you have to, I think you have to win nine to get further up. You, you can win five and mm. still unlock some good gear. Yeah. If you win all nine, you get some special stuff. But if you lose three times, it resets your progress. Yeah. And the people on there are toxic because if they're on there about to win or whatever and then they lose, oh my God, it's horrible. Yeah. That's why I won't, won't do that sort of shit. Yeah, you can only do it if you and your mates doing it for bands, because then if people send you messages, it's hilarious. Or yeah, like game chat. And, and you know those times and they all fuck your mum, it's great. Yeah, <laughs> lots of little kids. Done my mum. <laughs> right, um, I'm oh. trying to think of. I'm, sure when we, I'm trying to think of us playing SD2. There was just something like. There was, I actually really enjoyed playing it, thinking back. But. For one reason or another, we just I just stopped. You had a good time on it. We, on. Wait, all three I think of us had more than had I did a Destiny time. One. I mean, because the story was a lot better than Destiny One at the time. Yeah. What, what I'm really the, excited for the new DLC. What were the challenges? What, uh, like the little stories. And the new the new DLC is going to give you loads of like new sort of side things to do. It's got like a whole options menu of things. For you what to they're, they're adding to the end game? Oh my yeah. god! And there's a whole Why would they do a whole that? planet for end game now. And as people progress further and further through the planet, unlocking more things, it changes how the planet is. Yeah, but the thing is, now I feel too far far behind, so I'll probably wait for three and start again. You know. <laughs> no. I just I can't like it's you it's, can you can jump into Destiny at any time. No, I can't. I hate I hate like you got to think. No, because if you jump in now, you'll level up so fast. Hmm. Just it, and plus I have to buy the DLC. I would wait for like a pack yes. with all of the first year. Like the legendary and king. And one. Yeah. I forgot they did that shit. Don't they? Year one, year two, and year fucking three. Yeah, yeah Fortnite well. does that with seasons. Before that shit, and it's free. Still shit. Well, I need to play PUBG as well. They've got a new map. They do. One. Looks very good. Oh, did you hear? And my friend was like, you know what, Nathan, when you get your new internet, that's how we'll christen it. PUBG, new map. PUBG. So, um, PUBG have officially dropped the lawsuit. Dropped the lawsuit, yeah. Which I, I don't get. I've talked about that in the last podcast. No, because it only happened recently. No, but I don't get it because... I know they were getting sued at the time. They've, they've done got, the record, um, whatever it was. Surely they've got a point. I don't understand how they can drop why they dropped it they I haven't. think the company above them owns both of them was like drop it wait so 
They're owned by the same company. But basically, they they are in a way renting the uh, game engine from that PUBG uses. But then the company above was literally apparently like, "We're earning money from both of you. Stop it." Yeah, because it. There's... Oh wow. Well, what can you do? Because basically, what they're saying is they stole the game idea, but you can't exactly say that. Because no. the only way you can... It's like saying... Um, you know what keeps happening like that recently? is like Ed Sheeran with loads of his song lyrics. People are being like, no, it sounds like this. Yeah. And he's getting loads of trouble for that. Well, he, he was apparently getting... He was suing thinking, someone was, for... Te- uh, is it, it was um, thinking out loud. Thinking out loud, yeah. He was suing Ed Sheeran, saying it sounded like... Um, something else wasn't that kind of it was, it was like an old but story. it's something from like 1970 yeah, like 1930 that's been out for like years now and they're just now saying that yeah it's, you shouldn't be able to do that or at least you should be able to say like in his song to say it influenced by and then just have that song at the bottom yeah but the thing, the thing as well is like he isn't making any money from that song right now because it's so old now well no that's not no no no, no not, the, not the guy who's suing him Ed yeah. Hume's making money from his song what because of it oh Oh, because of the... So he's lost, like... Oh, he's probably lost millions. Right. He probably yeah. doesn't care because he's got something else. Yeah. Well, no, he's, he's, he's actually care. going for the, to pursue him because it's, you know, you, it's a bit it's a bit harsh. You've, you've you've done all the work, you've done concerts, and you've, uh, I'll give it a tune. He, he does work hard for what he, you know, for what he oh, does. Oh, yeah, he's built up a lot. You know. Gone from a weary, homeless guy to... Weary ginger man to yeah. a... He wasn't a homeless ginger man. He was. No, he was ginger. No, he... he was homeless. No, no, no. No, that's... Um, he was just... James Day was a busking homeless person. No, I'm pretty sure Ed Sheeran was... Had to, he was sleeping on people's sofas and stuff. No, he was sleeping on... Um, I forgot his name. It was a recorder. A record, uh, not a recorder. A um, publisher. He was sleeping oh. on his couch for a few days. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, he wasn't... Because he's like, in the Americas and obviously Ed Sheeran lives in the Englands. Yeah. Right, well, anyway, I want to go get my flurry. <laughs> <laughs> so your priorities are all right. I'm so oh, oh, I want to been... cod and waffle. Oh, oh yeah, a bit of cod and waffle. Okay, that's going to be expensive though. It was only one pound for a mini milkshake. <laughs> yeah, but that was on the kids menu. Kieran, I, mean, I know you... we've not all got stomachs like you, right? I, I know. Full up I, you can never go somewhere to have a kids menu. You have to go out. Yeah, you can. Loads of fish and chip places. You can have a kids menu and still be full. No. Yes. No, because you only get like, what, four chicken nuggets if you go for like a chicken nugget meal? Or, or maybe if you go into some places you go to. One in one with sands, it's good. Kids don't look big. <laughs> okay. I'll have to try, try that. Yeah, Is it a lot cheaper though? That's like three pounds for kids menu instead of six. Thanks for listening and watching, Bye. guys. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.